So in the last video, we built this node um, class that we can use for a binary search tree. And um, we saw that we can very efficiently run this operation to kind of check if a given value is in our data structure, right? With our data structure being this specific tree. And, um, and we also have this method that allows us to add new values and it kind of positions them so that it'll be efficient later to run this operation. And one thing I want to just look at here is what happens if I add a duplicate value, right? Like I try to add an X that's already there. Um, right, if, I, if, I, if I'm on a node, but let's say I'm adding five, right? And I'm currently on a node where self dot value is five. Well, this will be false. Um, this will be false. And, and so really, if I'm on a node that is already five and I try to add five again, um, nothing happens. And so I want you to think about this. This tree I'm building, it's kind of this new data structure. What Python data structure is it most similar um, to that we've seen before? Um, is it kind of similar to like a list, a dictionary, a set? I think it's most similar to a set, right? Because we can very quickly check if something is in it. And based on our ad, we can't have duplicates. All right, so this piece of code I have here is a lot like a set. Like that's already built into Python. And so what I want to do in this video is think about how could we go to the next level and instead of kind of building a set from scratch, how could we build a very similar data structure, uh, a dictionary from scratch? And um, dictionary is a little more complicated, right? Sets only have values and you can efficiently check if there's a value there. Uh, dictionaries have keys and values. And the thing we can efficiently do is look up a key. And, and so if I wanna do this, maybe the first thing I have to do, right, if I kinda of wanna adapt this and turn it into a dictionary, I should probably replace key value with key. So I'm just gonna do a, a kind of a find and replace. Edit, um, find and replace. And I'm gonna replace a value with a key. And I'm just gonna replace all of these. And let me just try and make sure that, you know, I have to rerun this from the beginning, don't I? And that kind of all still works just fine, right? Okay, now I'm trying to build a dictionary, right? So let me just try and make this our goal here, right? Want to make a new kind of dictionary. And so I better have both keys and values. I'm going to kind of pass this and up here. And, um, and then I may have to do that down here too. And I'm kind of adding this, this uh, X here, I guess X is kind of like a key, right? I'm also going to have a value, right? A value kind of tags along with that. I have to pass that in everywhere. I, I should have done a find and replace on X and, and key, right? Oh my gosh, one more. Okay, so I can do that. And when I'm creating a new node, I'm gonna create it with both that key and value. Does this make sense? Well, let me just try and try it down here. I guess for some of these, I'll put some values, right? Two, three. There's nothing stopping me from having multiple keys mapped to the same value, right? I do that. Does it run? Everything still kind of runs. You know what I'd like to see is um, each node is showing a key. I'd like to, to also show a value. And so I'm gonna kind of go back to here where I was drawing that. Um, here, here is where I'm drawing the, the nodes, right? And this would be the name of each node, uh, which is fine to leave that be with a key. Uh, but, but I could put some other text here. Like if I put hi, then I still have my same structure, but they all say hi. And, um, and, and so maybe what I can put here that will be helpful is something like this. I'll put it a format string with kind of um, two pieces. Something something like this will, will work well. I can say self.key and self.value. I'm gonna kind of build a string based on that. And that will be the actual label that shows up on here. And so I run that and I can see, well, D is one, B is two, 
you know, A is 3, C is 3, F is 3, E is 4, G is 5. Okay, and so that's kind of cool. Um, you know what I want to do now, though, is um, a couple things. You know, eventually I may want some way to like look up the values that I have, right? And, and instead of doing a contains, I, I could still do that, right? I mean, I can check if there's a key there. But what I'm really interested in is, is kind of saying something like, you know, tree, what value is associated with G? Right, so maybe let me just put that print there and um, and may say that. And, and, and of course, node is not subscriptable yet because I don't have a, a get item. Right, so up here I'm going to change this to get item. And and I have to think a little bit carefully now. I guess this X that I'm passing in is a key, so I should just try to change that like so. And instead of returning true, I want to get the value associated with that key, right? So if I somehow land on a node where I can't, I can't see my tree, can I? Can I see it like this? If I land on here and the key I'm looking for is F, and I'm like, hey, I'm on the F node, then what I want to return is, is three, right? I mean, that's the value associated with F. Right, so, so instead of returning true here, I really want to return self.value. And instead of returning false at the end, we'll just say that we've returned none for any sort of missing value. Okay, so let me kind of run this. And, uh, and right away I get an attribute error. And, and I'm getting that error because, well, I got rid of my contains method, right? I'm, I'm using this now so I can have my substrips get item. That's kind of cool. Let, let me get rid of this um, print here. And let me kind of check a few things. If I look up G and then uh, maybe I'll look up like F. Maybe I'll look up um, uh, A 533 for G F A. Is that true? So G G was five, F was three, A was three. Maybe let me just like, out of paranoia, check like one more thing. Uh, this should be a two, Great, it is a two. I basically made a dictionary here, right? A working dictionary. Now, if I wanna be fancy, like the one last thing I might wanna do is, Instead of adding things like this, it'd be kind of cool if I could do this. If I could say like um, tree of of B equals this. Let's try that. And it says that node item does not support item assignment. And and so there's a difference here, right? When I'm putting brackets after it to pull out a value, um, that calls get item. But when I put the brackets like this before an equal sign. That's an item assignment, and instead of calling get item, it would call set item. So, so I'm actually gonna rename this guy. I'm gonna call this set item. And when I'm doing my recursion, I can kind of do that down here instead of add. Now I guess I have the set item. When I have these um, special methods, instead of kind of the things I name them then life is better. And so I can see that my line of code ran and I just haven't changed these yet, right? I mean, I got rid of my um, add method, right? So let me kind of set the rest of these. And um, let me see here. Maybe that's enough for now. Uh, let's just see what we get. So I'll maybe say something like, um, I'll just check a couple of these. Maybe I'll say it's like, you know, four. So I should get three and four. And sure enough, I do. I basically made a, a working dictionary. Okay, so I'll leave it there.